Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Our Taxi episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode, a few things got resolved. Uh, first of all, uh, AG is back. We were able to get him back from Yano. And um, AG, like you know, Odoka uh, took AG out. And um, like you know, like uh, this, like this kind of went well. I was really not expecting it to go this well. Because I thought something is going to happen, maybe Oduka is going to uh, fall into some kind of trouble. But you know, Dobu helped us, and we were able to get AG out of there. And Kabasawa, the whole thing, Kabasawa situation also got resolved in a way. Uh, you know, like Dobu and he came in fa came face to face. They had a, a good conversation. Go Dobu gave him some advice, life lessons, and all. <laughs> and Kabasawa has decided to change. He issued an apology. Hopefully, um, nothing bad happens, like, you know, like, haters come and, uh, I don't know, like, try to harm him or something. I hope nothing bad happens because he's, like, you know, on YouTube, the whole world know, knows him. So, hopefully, like, no one comes and, like, attacks him or something. So, like, that's kind of, like, a thing. But anyways, um, that's that. And also, uh, in the end, we got to know, like, um... Uh, Goriki is trying to get more information about Odokawa and uh, the landlady she gave us a few information Odokawa probably doesn't believe that his parents are like you know not alive anymore I'm not sure what that actually means probably this episode is going to answer that question and um, yeah things are kind of wrapping up and the only thing that, the, the thing that's left is and the whole thing with Daimon what he's going to do like, you know if he's going to capture Dobu or not and um, the Shirakawa's problem in a way and uh, Odokawa and Dobu both of them like you know if he is oh Tanaka is also there that's another problem that's left to be resolved so let's see what happens this episode this is episode number 10 so without further ado let's get started with our taxi so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Again, I'll be taking out the video because it got copyright content ID claimed before. So no risks. I'm going to take out the uh, video of the opening. Hmm. Um, one thing I noticed, this opening has a shorter version. Like a few in, in a few episodes, we can see that they play the short version of the opening, which kind of ends quickly. In a way. Yeah, I think this this one. This version of the opening is a shorter version. Yeah. Okay. We have no tomorrow. Omi brief. Oh. Homo sapiens. Bon. Oh no. Oh. Did it not? Hmm. Oh, this guy, Nagashima. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, like. <laughs> Smoking area. <laughs> Yeah, what's up with him? He has to explain his joke. Oh my god. Wait, what? Um. Hehehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loses bracket. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, he knows that. Okay, very good. Oh my god. Okay, I had to really concentrate to understand what she's, he's trying to say. <laughs> My god. Okay. Oh no! Oh yeah, this is... Oh no no no, this is... <laughs> Odokawa span, I forgot about this for a second. Oh no. Oh no, he did not get fooled. He he really did get the money. And I forgot for a moment that Odokawa is the one who told him to do this. Hmm. Oh. Your sake, okay. The bravado. The bravado that he's... Yeah. Yeah, the, the dash cam is recording everything. Boy. Yeah. Hmm. No. Apparently not. Because he's still doing this. Hmm, nah, that won't help. No, no. No, don't. Oh my god, he's taking him somewhere else. Uh. He is taking him somewhere. Oh no. Oh god. Ah! Oh, nice, Odokawa, nice. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> mm, okay, I hope he really f falls for it. Oh my god, this is like an abandoned place. Okay. Hopefully he listens.
Oh yeah, no, no, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh no. Oh, knife. Oh, wait, what? Wait, Shiraka was here? Wait, what? How? Um, wh what? Um, this is the martial art she was doing. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. All right, okay. <laughs> yes. Why is she here in the first place? <laughs> No, what? No. You need at least a little bit of... Okay. Okay, he's going to use him. That's, that's okay. Okay, let's see. If everything goes well. Allow yourself to be caught by the police. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Well, your choice. <laughs> no choice. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't understand why is Shiraka here in the first place. Maybe she'll explain. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm also kind of thinking that, but still, whatever he did, yeah, it, it is wrong in a way. So brainwashing. Oh, maybe the boss. <laughs> mm. True. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Yeah, run, run. Run, Tanaka's here. Oh. Okay, okay. Wow. Okay, throw it away. Or, I don't know. Okay. That's better, I think. Good for you. Uh, okay. He's working. Nice. Ah, boy.
Who the? Oh, this guy. We saw him. He's the boss, isn't he? <laughs> Wait, how did Oh No, he he's uh, the leader of Dogu, I think. Boss of Dogu. <laughs> 5 percent. Oh no, here we go. I need to start concentrating again. Let's go. <laughs> Otherwise, I won't. Oh no. Fifty minutes. Oh boy. Uh, mm. Wow, they really <sighs> even the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Then. Oh. All right. All right. Wow, he even wants the... Okay. I don't think it will go this well. Will it? Like it's like a... No, this definitely won't go this way. Hmm. 
Art. Uh, the title drops. Art taxi. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Odo covers. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Oh boy. No. I don't think so. Let's see. Two months ago, what? Wait, he doesn't remember? He doesn't remember? Did he say that his memory is... But... Hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. All right. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. True. Time on. Why is he not picking up the phone? Dinky dinky oh my god. Here. Okay, all the cars. Mama? What? Why Sama? Hmm. Oh no. That's what he is concerned about. Wow, dedication. Hmm. <laughs> ah. hmm. Oh, this is ill. This uh, sinus. Identified. Yuki Mitsuya. Yuki Mitsuya. Wait, what? Wait, she's dead? No, no, wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 what happened?
what happened in the end like i knew that it was uh her like the mysterious girl who was the one missing that like that has been like, hinted a lot of times like, that's that's something that i know but why is the news saying that she's dead like she was alive a few days ago even like or is it like i'll have to check that portion out again like what the hell happened there Hmm. Okay. That's the end. Yeah, that's the end. Alright, so Okay, first of all, let me check out that portion. Uh Okay, uh Body found in Tokyo Bay in October. That body has been identified. The deceased is Nerima City resident Yuki Mitsuya, 18 years old. Hmm. Mitsuya Yuki uh, was a member of idol group Mystery Kiss. And okay, now that's fans have been shocked with the sudden news of her death. And and Odoka Singh is not her. Now, one thing one thing i'm thinking about first of all uh the body like they're saying it's in october it has it's, it's been quite a while that the like you know this girl is missing and they're saying that that body has been found and that body is uh has been identified now and we have realized that yuki meets you at 18 years old she's the one who was from the mystery Chris idol group and she that is her body and she is not alive anymore okay like okay so i i i'm uh what can i say like okay so this body was yuki mitsuya's so who's the other girl that we're seeing all this while you know Otoko says it's not her and this probably means that now this if, if this is if if the girl that we're seeing now you know the girl uh, a black haired cat girl black furred cat girl if she is not the yuki mitsuya that they are referring to then that will make sense because another thing will make sense if that is really the case is when odokawa was shown the picture you know uh he he wasn't able to recognize her because like, like he would be able to recognize the uh, picture if uh, the girl that we are seeing now in mystery kiss is the same girl as that girl but he was unable to recognize her that probably means that those two persons were the different person so what actually happened here I'm not sure I'm still kind of confused that's why I'm kind of like you know pausing and saying because I myself am I'm, I'm properly unable to gather what's happening but probably this is what happened um Odokawa really did take her you know take her uh, in her taxi in the taxi and probably like you know uh, dropped her somewhere I'm not sure and so that's how like you know the dash cam like you know, kind of recorded and like you know Dobu is kind of saying that like so that's one thing that happened and I'm guessing after that this girl probably died you know and she got missing went up missing now what happened is i might be wrong though uh the yamamoto i'm not sure i'm sure he knew about this or something like you know he decided to make the girls start wearing masks and recruited a new person who would probably take yuki mitsuya's place and because they're wearing masks the audiences won't be able to understand that this is not the same yuki mitsuya i think this is where how it went i might be wrong but this is the only thing that probably makes sense otherwise why like you know how can this even be possible because we've seen that girl a few days ago and they're saying that that girl has been dead for quite a while ago from quite a while ago because like you know from october 
so this girl that we have been seeing and that girl are completely different people even though they are saying that this girl is one of the mysterious girls so i don't know how the fans will react because the fans are obviously seeing uh, her isn't aren't they like in mystery kiss so i don't know like it's kind of confusing but i think that this is how it went i might be wrong probably the next episode will answer most of our questions because the last scene was really vague and it's, it's going to start making sense in the next episode most probably so i'll, I'll be waiting for that and um like you know um and yeah no need to kind of go deeper into this because it'll probably be answered in the next episode but yeah that's probably what happened because this this kind of like answers a few questions number one why Oduka did not recognize her number two um why you know uh, they are like wearing masks you know these these girls and like, all these questions and yeah but i don't know let's let's just wait for it all right this episode here uh, the first thing that happened is um homo sapiens unfortunately it did not work out in the competition or whatever that they were in and uh, baba goes away this guy i'm not sure what his name is this giraffe guy he comes in and he says that team up with me so one thing that he said is i think it probably is correct which the thing that he said that uh, baba isn't even uh like you know paying like you know much like what do you call it like isn't even trying nowadays like he is busy with his own stuff with his own fame and uh, all the other things so that's why like you know like ditch him and let me join so i think that's kind of correct because i also think that baba is probably not taking all of this uh seriously because like when they lost we can see obviously i i, I can't remember the the other guy's name i always forget his name we can see that he's like you know sad and disappointed but baba is all like you know like standing looking at in, in a blank way and then he suddenly says yeah i need to go like i have a job which he goes away so i don't know that, that that's probably correct the the correct observation that guy did uh, the giraffe guy i'm not sure what's going to happen with this whether he'll accept his uh, you know offer or not but let's wait for it and uh, okay that and then um yano okay yano figures it out very quickly at the beginning when they like you know when we see the uh, twitter post i think that's twitter yeah <laughs> the twitter post that um the guy uh, uh lottery guy nikaido isn't it no not nikaido sorry uh, nikaido is the girl's name I I'm, <laughs> I'm i'm reading the <laughs> twitter account name it's called nikaido relove and then i realized that oh no that nikaido is the idol girl's name um anyways i i forgot his name um <laughs> the fan he um okay wait a minute let me just go and check out his name it's really kind of uncomfortable to uh, address them otherwise uh art taxi yeah okay let me just check out his name quickly um imai yes that's his name imai imai shun so yeah as i was saying imai uh Oh, his name is given there. Imai at a Nikaido fan account. Okay, um, Imai. So Imai uh, at the beginning, when they showed us that Twitter post, I was like, oh my god, did he really like do that? Because for a second there, I actually forgot that in one of the previous episode, Odokawa told him that make something up and say that yeah, that's fake. <laughs> I forgot that for a second, and I was like, oh my god, did he just like lie like that just so that like you know the. The idol girl will like respond to him respond to him or something and then it kind of clicked i was like oh no like that this is actually odokawa's plan <laughs> and uh, yeah and but very easily uh, uh, uh yano yano was able to figure it out because obviously they're like professionals you know they like you know they saw that the whole editing stuff like you know like whatever he did before was not edited and this is edited so he was able to quickly gather that but i think that was also part of odokawa's plan 
and you know he knew that would happen and take took that into consideration and uh, yeah everything is going according to the plan <laughs> all right and then um the next scene we see yamamoto in odokawa's taxi again odokawa kind of says that you know you messed with my friend <laughs> like and i need to like <laughs> I like you need to learn a lesson for that <clears throat> and uh, now as soon as Yamamoto said the turn right turn left he was saying stuff like that I was like oh my god he's like taking him somewhere just like so that he can like um like, you know attack him or something but then when Odoka started talking about betraying the you know the bosses I thought maybe he's going to take that you know, take that opportunity because he himself seemed a little stressed out before you know in the previous episode uh, with all everything that was happening so but obviously the fear was greater uh, fear of himself getting and mr. kiss like you know uh, being penalized uh, if he messes with Yano he actually decides to strangle Odokawa now one thing I really am unable to understand here is how the hell did Shirakawa know that they're here? Maybe she just ran into them here. Most probably, I don't know. But yeah, that was like some great timing. <laughs> and uh, like she said, like Goriki told me that whatever you're doing. So I'm guessing from that uh, information, she was probably looking for him. And I'm guessing he, she probably like, you know, was able to spot his taxi and she probably took another taxi and told it to follow him or something or started following the taxi herself and like that's how she was able to come here at the nick of you know time and, and uh, yeah i was able to save otokawa and like that was a close call like you know like i don't know why what the hell otokawa was even thinking like like being here all alone without you know like just listening to him like he's saying that go right go left and he's like all following him i think he probably thought that he'll take the offer you know of like betraying but he probably did not realize that the fear of uh you know betraying yano is more greater than like you know fear of odokawa actually uh blackmailing him but yeah anyways and um all right <laughs> Shirakawa, Shirakawa <laughs> breaks a glass with a stone and do, does her cappy, what, what was the name of the, just a sec, just a sec, what was the name of the capoeira, <laughs> well, the guy's like oh my god capoeira really is a martial art. And she's like, what did you think? It was a dance? Like, obviously not. It is a martial art. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyways, okay. And then they have a little conversation. Mm, Otokawa tells his plan to Yamamoto. And like, yeah, I think he'll probably listen to him now after this because he himself was very freaked out about, uh, like, you know, everything that's happening. And I'm sure he himself doesn't want to actually uh, get more involved in these type of shady businesses. So he, I'm sure he will listen because he himself also wants to get out of this mess. And now that he's seen that there is probably a chance, like he, like one thing I realized, like I noticed that he himself has no worry about him getting captured or him getting imprisoned. The only thing that he's worrying about is Mr. Kiss. And he really is, does really care about the group. I'm not sure why or what, like, you know, like what type of, I say mm, what is actually making him go this far because it's basically he's saying that yeah I don't care what happens to me if Mr. Case is fine everything is fine I'm also ready to go to prison that's basically what he's saying so I don't know why he's going this far most probably something in her in his past or I don't know but yeah like that's genuine and I'm sure like you know like like he since, since he is not worried about himself no, he's worried about Mr. Case. I'm sure he's thinking about what would happen if he keeps going along with Yano's whims. Because in the future, 
mystic is this definitely like if this goes out somehow like you know if this leaks that yeah like mystic is is uh like you know involved in these type of shady business badger games it's done it's over the group will completely go down like nothing can save them so that is probably since he is really concerned about mystic is that itself is probably something that has bothered him for quite a long while but because he's scared of yano screwing him over he 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 never did anything but now that he's seeing that there's an opportunity that everything can he can probably take on himself and mystic is will be saved like that's what he's thinking he's thinking that yeah like i myself will say that i've i've been threatened mystic has kiss has nothing to do with this like like you know like if if you want to imprison someone imprison me and he's going to take everything on him and mystic is going to be saved like this i think that's why he's probably like you know listening to odokawa because he he knows that like like there are a few options here keep going with yano someday will come when obviously like probably something will leak out and like everyone will get to know about the badger games the scandals and then and there mystic kiss is going to shut down that's one path another path is that he you know uh, listens to odokawa and everything that will probably happen will probably happen to him and he can probably convince the police to leave mystic kiss alone and that's how he's going to do this so these are the two parts that he has so i'm i'm sure like you know he he seeing that he has a chance now he's going to take odokawa's help and going to do what he's telling him to this wouldn't have worked if he did not care about mystery kiss as he does so yeah anyways all right okay and then um okay so the next scene where shirakawa shirakawa and odokawa is talking um interesting thing i also like kind of thought about it as shirakawa said that um dobu is not bad you know like it's not actually he's not actually bad it's just that as shirakawa said he has his own um sense of morals sense of justice whatever he does is i think he himself thinks is correct and in a way like we saw the previous episode where he really did not do anything to kawasawa which was very surprising and from that moment i kind of thought that maybe this guy really is not as bad as we think he is but he has done bad stuff that's properly definitely correct and he needs to be like you know get some kind of uh mm, what kind of he needs some kind of punishment for that so but he's not a bad person so that's what's actually here and uh, happening and again now this one thing that shirakawa says uh, not shirakawa odokawa says it's quite interesting he says that um where is it lately dobu is not a bad guy uh, uh, he operates based on his brand of justice um Okay, although this thing, Odoka says that I thought this might be some kind of brainwashing. Now, brainwashing, obviously, I think uh, I'm not sure where he got his brainwashing that, that he's talking about. Which brainwashing? Probably something that his boss probably did. I'm not sure. I might be wrong though. But he is working, like you know, going on some kind of like you know, moral, like his own morals or something, his own sense of justice. And that's what Orokawa is like, you know, telling that it's not that is not that good of a thing. It's just basically brainwashing. And then he says one thing, which is another interesting thing. He says that you still haven't been freed from yours. Your brainwashing, Shirakawa's brainwashing. What brainwashing is he talking about? Stockholm syndrome that we uh, got to know from the previous episode and it's pretty clear from the next thing that Shiakawa says that she really is suffering from Stockholm syndrome here or in other if, if you like you know like refer it to, in Odokawa's words brainwashing he it is a kind of a brainwashing Stockholm syndrome you know so like the next thing that Shiakawa says is that um like where is that it proves the point it's true that he's done a lot of bad things, but his dedication to his boss never wavers. Dobu has been brainwashed too, and yeah, you yourself is also brainwashed. <laughs> That's what Oluka was referring to, and like I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, Dobu is like you know, um, like a good person within you know, as Oluka refer mentioned, 
but that does not forgive him for all the things that he have done all the bad things that he have done he even i'm sure he also like went uh, like you know kind of hit you know they said something like physical and mental torture so i'm guessing he also hit shirakawa or something physical violence and mental like you know psychological blackmailing as well or something like that manipulation so these things are definitely not right so he needs to get some kind of a punishment for this and since like even after this since shirakawa is like you know trying to protect him <laughs> that itself shows that she herself is also kind of brainwashed in a way the whole stockholm syndrome that um Ozukawa is talking about so <laughs> Ozuka says that, yeah, nope, I've decided. I'm going to punish him. Oh my god. And she says that within the world, good isn't always rewarded and evil isn't always punished. <laughs> ah. Alright, and then they start kind of bickering. Um... Okay, all right. So now the next scene where Odokawa finds out the GPS, and he kind of puts one and one together, two and two together, and realizes that at the first thing, uh, like just a sec, um, the whole scene, um, he planted a GPS on you. That's right. After my car window was broken, someone fired a shot into my house. Yeah, it's a naturally plain way to harass someone, don't you think? The culprit probably suddenly found me around the city and hid a phone in my car. That's why I'm like he broke the glass as a temporary measure. Okay, a phone would run out of battery eventually. Found my home, broke my car window, retrieved the phone. Replaced it with GPS, uh, batteryless GPS. Okay, so that's what he like. So the thing he's saying is that to find out where he lives, uh, Tanaka used the phone, and since the phone needs battery, he broke the car window, took out the phone, went into his house, you know, and uh, wait, went into his house. Just a second. Found my home, broke my car window. No, no, sorry, he did not go into the house. Uh, he broke the window, took out the uh, phone, and replaced it with a batteryless GPS. Okay, that's what he did. Okay, and I never really realized that, but he kind of explains that. Okay, and then the next scene is where um, Olukawa, and I, mean, I think that's the boss because we kind of saw him talking to Dobu before, like you know the AG scene where AG kind of. <laughs> Thought that he was talking to him, but he was actually talking in his phone. All right, and okay, the thing that he asks him, Odokawa, do you not want money? I don't have any money problems. I do have one problem. I don't want more that befits my stature. All I want to is to be able to repay people back who helped me little by little to the best of my own ability. Okay. Like, this really shows how, like, good of a person he is, Odokawa. Like, you know, like, no, like, sen like nothing, like, no sense of pride, nothing. Like, he he's completely so clean in a way. Like, it's really... What can I say? Rare to find a character like this in anime, especially because it's like I don't know, like what to say. Like it's it's as if like each and every quality, good quality that is <laughs> that exists is kind of like in Odokawa. <laughs> I'm sure, like you know, most probably this is because of his hard life from his childhood. You know, because people who kind of live a hard life from their childhood or even in their normal, you know, uh, after adulthood. They kind of actually get like you know realize what uh like you know a lot of things like the hardships of uh, the world and everything and that's what makes them kinder and you know so i'm sure that is the main reason that he is so like good such a good person in a way because he has you know he has suffered a lot from his childhood 
but anyways okay that's that mm, and okay and then the next scene yano finds out where they where um uh, imai lives and that was really some great style of stalking you know as yano said and they had their they have their plan you know ready what they want to they will do okay um Okay, now the next scene, you're sure Yano and his guys found Imai? Yeah, Yamamoto the manager contents. Okay, so Yamamoto is actually feeding them <laughs> information now. That's good. And that's how they got to know that like their plan. And uh, so their plan is to take Imai in the bank, lock him up until the bank gets the cash ready. Uh, bank supposed to contact okay so uh, as far as i could understand what they're going to do is take imai to the bank keep him locked up in uh take uh, like you know uh, like the money will be uh what do you call it repaired the bank will actually tell dobu and uh so the plan here is there are like nine no ten ten suitcases one will have the real like you know uh money and all the others won't have it he'll only uh, like you know yano will only check one and they'll go on their way because obviously it's like a uh, uh, like, you know everything has to be done quickly because like it's like a bank robbery so now and then Dobu will come in and will take the and their plan i have to say it's so detailed and so big i don't know like as, as far as i think these type of plans usually fail like, like you need a plan which is short and uh, to the point like they like Dobu made a plan which is like uh, like making a complete I don't know like some kind of strategy game like he said that okay like I'll be here this time he'll go then that way I'll do this I'll come here you will pick me up then you'll like leave me there and then I'll do this again this will happen and this like so many things so many things can happen within all of this planning a single thing can go wrong and the whole plan will go down and like you know like won't be comp like you know okay at all so usually these type i don't know like why he made such a huge type of a plan which obviously has so many ways it can get messed up but usually this these these does not like what can i say like it's not possible for everything to go flawlessly you know especially in these type of things so this this won't work usually this doesn't work so i don't know why do made such a huge ass plan and he, he thinks that nothing will go wrong but unfortunately it will because it's such a big plan like what will happen if uh, the, like you know if Yano says that nah you know what I'll check all the um, suitcases plan will go down then and there <laughs> that's why like uh, you know but and that's what he's probably going to do because the later part of part of the plan which Odokawa only knows okay let's check that out um, Oh, and then he actually tells that the name will be what taxi, whatever. The whole title drop in this episode. And yeah, and then he tells that you actually deal with Tanaka. Um, Dobu says that maybe Tanaka wants me now, but I don't think so. I'm sure Tanaka actually wants Odokawa. Okay. All right, and okay, Yamamoto. He has a conversation with Yamamoto, and um, here's the second part of the plan, which is which only Odokawa knows and Yamamoto knows, which is um, when when you want when you will hand out up the out the money, they'll probably check the contents of just one of the Dula Lim Ninam cases. As soon as they're finished, I want you to tell the bank employees. Let us check another one. Okay. Uh, Yano Screw will freak out. Play along. Police will come. Tell them you were threatened. Okay, so quite a simple plan like so this will probably i don't know if this will work well because according to odokawa 
like he wants to make a confusion here but my question here is if some kind of confusion starts happening i'm sure yano will run away as soon as possible because he knows that the police will come so he he'll just not like sit there like trying to like you know i don't know i don't know if this plan will work or not but it probably will in a way because the thing that he said that it will make confuse them that's correct they will be confused but other than that i'm not sure if everything else that he's telling and predicting will happen we'll have to wait for that and um, okay okay one thing i did not understand why did he not pick up diamond's uh, phone anyways all right so the other part of the plan is lies with imai like that's not a plan but it's just that like he will have to uh what do you call it just a sec they'll threaten you and take you to the bank um do as they tell you for one week after that you'll be imprisoned in their hideout until the cash is ready okay so he he'll have to just what do you call it like keep patience that's what he has to do and not freak out and i don't think he's freaking out because the thing after that he says is that oh no but the mystic cd released it and the concert are over in a week so yeah he, he he's not freaked out at all he's only freaked out at the fact that he'll lose the cd sale <laughs> so yeah that kind of shows us that he like the determination he has as a fan <laughs> quite impressive i have to say and yeah that probably like you know he he'll probably be able to like you know what do you call it bear it okay they'll take you to the bank to receive the cash and yeah and then the police will come they'll be arrested and all right so then okay that's that's the other part of the plan the plan is all set there are a lot of way, like ways this plan can go wrong and odokawa has some other plan and like dobu has some other plan yano has some other plan a lot of things are happening so that's that i'm sure we'll get to see more in the next episode and then the next section we go to the school i think okay and here like he the gorky is kind of like asking the teacher and asking him like you know about him about odokawa and the illness that he said i think that's like uh, synesthesia that's what he said i think in the previous episodes yeah I think that's what it is and like i thought like maybe it's some kind of life-threatening disease or something but now i can probably guess that it's not something like that it's probably the synesthesia that he said before but anyways okay one thing the teacher said something like his accident so he was involved in an accident oh maybe that's why he got the thing that the problem that he has the illness okay now this portion is very confusing for me at least is <clears throat> like as i said i think i said this in the previous uh, in the first part of the uh, react uh, the discussion portion like n now after so many uh, like you know uh, days the body of yuki misa has been found so who's the girl we have been seeing for so long in a uh, mystery kiss if that's not the same person like as i said my guess is probably that they those two are different persons and that's why they wear masks now so that the fans can don't, don't know and Odoka also kind of said something like uh it's not her he says that like he probably like realized that looking at like you know like he, he probably like looked at the girl in the uh, in the um ev uh, the girl who who has died and he probably like uh, tried to connect that with the girl who has been uh, who has uh, ridden his his taxi with yamamoto and he if he probably like from that he's saying that it's not her like they are not the same those two those two people are not the same so if that's what is happening then yamamoto has some more secrets that means 
oh, maybe that's the thing. Okay, okay, okay. I can realize. Okay, maybe that's the thing that he he kind of said in one of the previous, like you know, when when he and Shirakawa and Odokawa was having a conversation. Like uh, Odokawa said that so you have some kind of a thing, which like you know you've been threatened with. That's why you probably are unable to do anything against him. You know, you're you're being threatened by Yano. I think this is the thing. Most probably, I think so. That the the girl is dead and they're like using someone else to do this. Maybe this is the thing. I don't know. I might be wrong, but yeah. But anyways, that was it. That was my reaction. Oh my god, it's been a long time I'm talking. <laughs> These discussions are huge. Like there's a lot of things to actually like unwrap in this one twenty minutes episode. Like so many things are happening. So yeah, so yeah guys, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Our Taxi. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.